The SEC issued crypto exchange Coinbase a Wells notice. When do you think the XRP price would be like in the future? A lot of people are sharing their predictions. Jimmy Valley, managing director of Val Hill Capital, thinks that XRP could be worth between $10,000 and $30,000 to $5,000 per coin after regulations and after it's determined to be the world's bridge currency, CryptoGeek said in a recent tweet. So who is Jimmy Valley? Are his words worth heeding? Keep watching this video to find out more so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 300 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hey guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the best spot for your daily dose of everything XRP and cryptocurrency. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future. So be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. Please remember this is not a financial advice video. James E. Valley, also known as Jimmy, is the managing director and co-founder of Val Hill Capital. Valley is labeled in the media as among America's top energy dealmakers and one of the new breed of superstar lawyers. Jimmy authored the Amazon number one bestseller, Giant Ships Energy Trends Reshaping America's Future. Prior to co-founding, Val Hill Capital Valley enjoyed two decades experience advising public and private companies, MLPs, investment banking firms, sovereign wealth, and private equity funds in more than $100 billion of worldwide transactions. As a leading M&A partner at two global AMLA 100 law firms, Further Valley is a frequent speaker on business, economic, and energy topics, including a recent keynote at the annual Mensa conference. His expert commentary has been featured in publications as diverse as USA Today and US News and World Report, as well as in numerous trade and industry outlets. In an On the Chain podcast last year, Ballet shared how an XRP buyback at $10,000 to $35,000 each is possible. Yes, that's what he is known for in the XRP community. He is the guy who brought up the XRP buyback theory. So what is the XRP buyback theory? Known as Valet's buyback theory, it calls upon governments to buy back the entire XRP supply from retail. Valet also gives a price for XRP's buyback, an eye-popping $37,500 per token, calculated by dividing total global wealth by the asset's total supply. Media reports said over the past few weeks, XRP has been trading at the 40-cent level. Although no one takes Valley's buyback idea seriously, the XRP community can't stop speculating if it ever plays out in reality. According to the theory, the bridge currency XRP could be an asset. But to make it come true, the government must first hold a large number of XRP to guarantee liquidity. Theoretically, this could be achieved by purchasing the supply of XRPs from the secondary market. The precedent was set in the Great Depression when the U.S. government purchased gold from the citizens to fill the empty Federal Reserve. To keep the market stable, XRPs should come at a fixed price. This means that if XRP covers all the world's wealth, its market cap should accordingly reach quadrillions of dollars. According to the Ripple buyback theory, the price of XRP with a finite 100 billion supply could linger between $37,000 and $50,000. Tiki theory raised a lot of discussion across the XRP community. The critics claim that it is unachievable especially when XRP comes with the centralized Ripple Labs company and governments are experimenting with their CBDC. Countries like China are working toward making their fiat the world's reserve currency. Additionally, legal limitations are strengthening around the globe, preventing institutions from buying and holding large any amounts of digital currencies. In light of this, should the United States consider making XRP the reserve currency of the world and buy its entire holding from the market? This speculative idea was notably raised by Jimmy Vallee, managing director of Val Hill Capital, in 2021. 
This theory is once again making noise in the crypto industry after he talked about it in a recent interview. However, Ripple Lab CTO David Schwartz debunked this idea immediately. In fact, he said that he did not even look at it closely. He even went so far as to call it a scam. I haven't looked at it very closely, but what I have seen looks an awful lot like a scam to me. If we've learned anything from 2012 and 2022, it's that anyone promising high returns with low risk is almost certainly going to rob you, Schwartz said in a tweet. Notably, the XRP buyback theory has been dismissed by many others in the crypto world, most importantly by Ripple's former director of developer relations, Matt Hamilton, who in a long Twitter thread in early January referred to Valley's idea as a complete fantasy and accused him of indulging in bribery. Valley's interview with the investor, analyst, and business coach Molly Elmore in late December of last year sparked another round of speculations about the ongoing saga of the theory. He even mentioned attorney Johnny Deaton, who has been helping the court in the Ripple versus SEC case, where he has been fighting SEC outreach. Valley proposed that on behalf of XRP holders, Deaton should be paid in the event of a buyback for his efforts to help Ripple in the aforementioned case. However, Deaton has since distanced himself from Valet's statements, saying he has zero expectation to be paid for fighting SEC's overreach. He said in a tweet, Unless I file an appearance as a defense counsel representing a company that is being sued by the SEC, my efforts will continue to be pro bono. I will not accept any money from any token holders related to my efforts. Even Ripple's former director of developer relations, Matt Hamilton, considers Valley's claims to be complete fantasy, basically a logically impossible scenario. It's all a complete fantasy. There is no scenario in which a buyback makes any logical sense, Hamilton said in a tweet in reply to a crypto enthusiast question. He noted, however, that even if a buyback of XRP were to occur, its price could not be considered fair value because the second is formed solely by market laws. Commenting on the possibility that the buyback would happen to make XRP the new government currency, Hamilton also questioned what prevents the government from simply buying the tokens from the market. As a general summary of Valley's words, Hamilton said he was suspicious of his and Val Hill Capital's activity and that so far he has been saying more clever words than doing anything. All that said, it may be safe to say that Valley's statements of how an XRP buyback at $10,000 to $35,000 each is possible would never happen in reality. What we know for now, though, is that blockchain firm Ripple recently announced that it has acquired Medico, a Swiss firm that holds digital assets securely on behalf of clients in, to expand its international footprint and broaden its range of services. News of the deal, one of the largest acquisitions in the crypto industry in the past year or so, came as the San Francisco-based startup continues to contest a lawsuit from the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. It also comes as the crypto industry as a whole is facing a host of challenges, from higher interest rates and tighter funding conditions to mass layoffs and dwindling company valuations. This is the largest deal we've seen in the last year. Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, recently told CNBC on a call. Garlinghouse shared that the firm invested $250 million of cash off its own balance sheet to fund the acquisition. At a time when others are closing their doors or facing layoffs, I think it's a real important signal for the industry. It's also a signal that Ripple's in a strong position. We're going to play a fence, he added. Garlinghouse said the deal was a sign that it was still possible to make sizable deals, even with the pressures the broader market is facing. He further explained that the deal would help the company increase its presence overseas at a time when the Securities and Exchange Commission is taking tough actions against major industry players, Ripple included. The crypto titan, valued at $15 billion in its most recent private round of financing, has been faced with a great deal of regulatory uncertainty after the SEC sued the company and two of its executives, accusing them of unregistered securities. The regulator's main assertion is that XRP, a cryptocurrency Ripple is closely associated with, 
is similar to a security that should have been registered with the agency before being issued and sold to investors. Ripple, for its part, denies XXRP should be treated as a security. As you all know, the case has now entered its third calendar year, and people are just awaiting the judge's verdict. In a CNBC interview, Garlinghouse said he expects the firm will get an outcome in the legal fight in a matter of months. I think the most likely scenario is that we'll hear something either two or four or five months from now, Garlinghouse said. Gary Gensler, chair of the SEC, has made clear the regulator has no intention of backing down from its aggressive enforcement actions in the crypto space. Gensler has insisted that existing securities laws are already a good fit for crypto. Some industry executives, however, believe the regulator's actions are misguided. Numerous crypto industry insiders have been calling for a clear regulatory framework from the U.S. Congress to help give companies clarity over how they can operate in a legally sound way. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video. Goodbye.